welcome to my channel hey guys this is Kaz and in this video I'm going to bring you up to date with a new add-on called Pulsar um, it's only available on Windows Linux and OS X a lot of persons are under the conclusion that this is available on Android TVs that run Android uh, operating systems this doesn't support Android operating system so if you do have a TV that has an Android operating system this is not for you but you can definitely put it on your, your PC or Linux or OS X alright for Mac that is the message you're gonna get Pulsar is compatible only with Windows Linux and OS X alright so uh, so what you wanna do is on all this information is gonna be in the description below uh, what you wanna do you wanna go to this link right here that I, that I have highlighted click it in the description below but I will just paste it here and once you click it wait about five to six seconds so we count one two three four five and six and then you should see a download right here to the bottom where I have my cursor see it there um, and then you could just show in folder I have all my downloads go to my download uh, folder I, I did place it on my desktop in a folder named Pulsar after the add-on itself and that's for location so when we try to find in Kodi and XPMC um, as you can see yeah I, I do have a Pulsar folder that I created on my desktop so let's open up Kodi so now what we want to do in Kodi you want to go to systems and then you want to go to settings in settings you want to go firstly to service and it seems odd to some of you guys but let's go to remote control and go to the right and then press enable this little thing we call allow programs on other systems to control Kodi you enable that then exit back out to the main menu then what we want to do you want to go to systems and then back into settings and then in add-ons and in add-ons you want to go to install from zip and then that folder that I, that I named Pulsar on my desktop then we have to find it and the easiest way to find it on your on your windows is to go in the C drive go to users uh, my user um, at, that I have the file on is my name and then go to the desktop where I have it and then I name it Pulsar and install so install the uh, the repo and the repo name is Pulsar unofficial repo that's the one that we're going to use we're not going to use this one that says Pulsar repository we're going to use this one that says Pulsar unofficial repo so let's go in there then we want to do we want to go to video add-ons then see it says Pulsar enabled I guess it did enable it but that's fine if it didn't enable it then you just install it alright so let's go back out and once that once that is installed then you want to go to program add-ons within the Pulsar unofficial repo don't come out of the Pulsar unofficial repo as yet go into programs add-ons then in here you would see different names and you'll see all the names start with Pulsar and at the end and in the middle you'll see different names in different colors uh, this one is more of a greenish blue and these ones are oranges and yellows and then at the end you'll see like little text like Espanol to say that these are Spanish uh, hosts and the hosts will be the, the ones that are in the different colors right Pulsar being the add-on itself and the host being the different colors the, the host that we're going to use in this video is going to be public HD Pulsar alright so let's install that host and you can install all the hosts if you want to um, bear in mind the more hosts you install the more searching it's going to have to do and the longer it's going to take the search for a simple movie so if you ever downloaded stuff off the internet um, I would suggest that you stick to the hosts that you are uh, most frequently uh, deal with so I normally deal with Pirate Bay and then Yiffy is pretty good uh, Kick-Ass Torrent is really good as well so let's go back up and download the Kick-Ass Torrent so those are downloaded now what we want to do we want to just exit out it's already downloaded then we can go to videos and add-ons now once we're in add-ons and videos 
you will see the, the video add-on um, right there, it says Pulsar. Let's go into there. Now this shows up. It says movies, television shows, search, and paste URL. Uh, we're not going to use the paste URL feature. We're just going to go into movies or TV shows. Let's pick movies. Uh, we do have the search option. Bear in mind that this, the, the only disappointment that I have with this is that it doesn't have the in theaters or featured option. So you're unable to really, if you're not aware of all the movies that are in the movies, at that current time, you're kind of back, back. So you're going to have to pretty much search on Google, try to find out the current movies, and then come back here and search the movie and find it because it's not going to be anywhere else. So let's just test the movie and see how it works. So this is The Hobbit. We just press that. So you can see now to the bottom right, it's searching all of those uh, places that the links may be. Okay, so we found a link, um, and once we found the link, we're gonna have to wait until this completely buffers. All right. Now the buffering is also a negative in this app. Uh, it's not slow, but it's definitely not the quickest, and that's that's a drawback. However, the 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 large amount of movies in their libraries is a positive. So the two negatives we have so far is that uh, the buffers, it buffers really slow. And the next negative is that it, it can go on Android TV. And the third, uh, there being a third, the third negative is that it doesn't have the in theater or featured section in the category. So it's not gonna, gonna keep you up to date with the current movies. Uh, you're gonna have to know what the current movies are and then search them. So it reached 100% and let's wait and see if it plays. So it plays in the background, it plays. So we could just exit out. Um, so that works, all right? So thank you guys for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel. I have an obligation to all my subscribers uh, to give you guys as much information as possible on any technology. Leave a comment in the, in the comments below. and. If you have any questions, and I will try my best to answer those questions. Thanks for watching. Click subscribe.